Developing tonight at 5.30, the coroner says a veteran found in a burning house on the east side was the victim of a homicide. Today, our Rich and I learned that police and firefighters are working together to determine if that 73-year-old was killed before the fire there was intentionally set. Firefighters responded to a fire at this east side home around 1 a.m. Saturday morning and within minutes found 73-year-old Stephen Brockman inside, dead. The next-door neighbor called this kind, generous man Mr. Steve. Wouldn't hurt a fly. Wouldn't hurt a fly. Everybody he met liked him. I thought they did. And um, then all this here happened. It was, just, it was just a totally shock to me. Martha Settles has lived across the street from Stephen for five years. But she says he lived here on Bar Drive for some 30 years. The fire at his house is considered suspicious. The coroner calls his death a probable homicide but has not ruled if Stephen died in the fire or before. Martha says kids in the neighborhood took advantage of the senior citizen. They would always go to his house asking for money, and we, we even told him stop doing that. But Mr. Steve, he always wanted to help people out. Stephen lived alone and has no family locally, but was active at Trinity Episcopal Church for the past 25 years. It's very heartbreaking and very shocking. Um, as, as Christians, we have faith in his eternal life and that there is no pain now, but it's, it's, we're grieving as a community, to be sure. He showed his kindness as an usher at church. He loved being an Episcopalian. He loved being an organist. He was very proud of his identity as an Episcopalian, as a musician. Uh, and, and those were real hallmarks of, of the way he was with us. Funeral services for Stephen Brockman will be held here at Trinity Episcopal Church on Tuesday at 1 o'clock. I'm Rich Nye, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.